So, hello everyone, this is Yelena Volkova and uh, I will now show you the improvements in model compiler that we have implemented during this sprint. And I will start with support for unit subdirectory and precompiled headers. Uh, so, uh, here is a sample model uh, and uh, on code generation tab uh, we have um, a property unit subdirectory. Uh, which uh, tells where to generate unit uh, files. So we have unit name, my unit, and for each uh, transformation configuration, we generated a, a pair of uh, uh, C, CPP and header files. So now I will show you how the generated code looks like uh, if we use this unit subdirectory. Uh, so this is the project, the generated code, and uh, uh, this is RT system. Uh, this is a folder that was used uh, for this to uh, header and CPP file that corresponds to, to the compilation unit. Uh, all other source files for classes and capsules, uh, they are uh, generated uh, on uh, the top level. But for unit files, we have a subfolder. And uh, before, uh, in model compiler, we, um, while compiling uh, these source files, we didn't create uh, this unit subdirectory in uh, the uh, build folder. So this is default, this is the build folder. And uh, here we have the generated make files and we have object files. And before, uh, we were compiling uh, object files for myunit.cpp. Uh, we were compiling them into the same um, level as uh, the other object files. So we didn't uh, create similar uh, directory structure in the build folder. Uh, but now uh, we have fixed this. Uh, and uh, now you see we have this uh, RT system as a subfolder and uh, object files uh, that corresponds to unit CPP, uh, it, is, uh, in the, it is also placed under this uh, subdirectory with the same name. Um, so this um, uh, change solve um, uh, two problems. Um, so first of all, I would like to mention that this is um, uh, in the classical builder, before it was um, behaving like this. So it was creating uh, subfolders uh, in the build folder. So for object files, the classical builder was also creating subfolders. Uh, and now we are we have fixed model compiler, so it's uh, behaving absolutely the same as classical builder. And the first problem that we solve is the conflicts in the object file names. So, for example, if you have a unit name, my unit, and somewhere in the model uh, you have <clears throat> uh, some class, for example, with the same name, uh, while using this unit subdirectory, you you will not uh, have a conflict uh, that uh, uh, in the object file name that the same object file is generated in the same folder. Uh, so before uh, we had um, as an additional check for that situation. So now this check is not needed uh, because we are recreating the same folder structure under unit uh, under the build folder, uh, similar as for the sources uh, that that we generate. Uh, and the second improvement uh, is support for precompiled headers. Uh, so this model uh, it is defining. Uh, uh, this compile argument, um, uh, which uh, points to a precompiled header, and this is actually my unit .h. Uh, this is one of the possibilities to uh, to optimize your compile time because uh, if we check the generated files, uh, all uh, CPP files uh, for the model they contain and include to this unit header file. So this my capsule, my class as well. So all the generated CPP files they have this include. And uh, as an improvement, it is possible uh, to use this. Um, my unit uh, header file as a precompiled header. 
uh, and but since um, the header file um, it is under under the special uh, subdirectory and here we also mention this subdirectory and in the build folder if we will check uh, in the build folder uh, this uh, pch file it is also by the compiler it is also generated under this rt system folder and uh, that, that's why it, it is um, uh, required to be present and created uh, so before uh, this um, way of um, using pre-compiled header didn't work because uh, we didn't create this rt system on the, the build folder and uh, uh, pch file the compiler was not able to create pch, PCH file correctly so now it is working fine and uh, you have seen already uh, that the model compiled fine and uh, here we are using this uh, unit h as a pre-compiled header um, also the same uh, support we have added for output subdirectory so uh, we are doing the same uh, thing um, and it is also now behaving uh, in the same way as for classical builder uh, so, if I will specify output subdirectory, this is a folder that should be used for the other source files generated for classes and capsules. Uh, and now I'm building, uh, and uh, you can see that uh, in the generated code, we have um, source files under output subdir, uh, and in the build uh, folder, we also are creating the same folder structure. We have this out. Uh, subdir with the corresponding object files. Uh, so the, the main change was in how make files are generated. So if uh, you will check that here um, we are generating this additional folders in the references to objects and, and uh, in compile commands. So here and uh, here as well. And also these um, folders are created during code generation they are pre-created uh, before make is called first uh, we are generating make files and creating all of these subfolders and then uh, we are running make uh, so this is it about this feature do you have any questions <laughs>